I want to invite you to a very special meeting here in Orlando. Let me read a scripture for you. Well, let's say this first. The title, let's give our producer the title. There is an absolute need for the gifts of the Spirit to operate in our life. Can you all say that? Through me? There is an absolute need for the gifts of the Spirit to operate in our life. Not just for Joe Blow and not just for a few. Holy Ghost of Acts, if Holy Ghost for today. There is an absolute need. Oh, man, you'll get your kids' attention when they know that you hear from God. Oh, yes. There is an absolute need for the gifts of the Spirit to operate in our life. Let's see what Apostle Paul said here. We'll put it on the screen. 1 Corinthians 12. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Let me have your eyes. Ignorant does not mean stupid. What's the difference between unlearned and stupid? Unlearned means you didn't know. Ignorant means you, you weren't taught. You weren't taught. Why do I have to think of that right now, Lord? Oh, dear God help me. I guess I got to do it. We was having a church service. Hundreds of people. And it was a very intimate, sensitive time of the Spirit. And a very petite girl, probably your size, Melissa, blew her nose. It sounded like a train just came through the room. She blew her nose and it sounded like a train going through a tunnel. Everybody looked around. What happened? And it was unusual to see a petite young lady like that, that that sound could even come out of her nose. <laughs> Mary was laughing. Were you there? You might have been there. Well, everybody just tried to, like, look, just get back to the service, but it was very distracting. Next week, at the most intimate time of the service, oh, I mean, it was so loud. It startled everybody. So after the service, I said to somebody, if that girl comes back, ask her why she does that. And they said, we did ask her. I said, what did she say? She said, well, nobody ever taught me how to blow my nose. I never thought about that. I mean, well, I don't know who taught me. I put a handkerchief up, I hold one nostril, and then the other one, one at a time, and it's over with. And I thought about that. She said, nobody ever showed me. Well, we tried to. She still did it. Ignorant is unlearned. Stupid is you don't want to learn. That's the difference. Ignorant is when you just didn't know you weren't learned. So you're going down the road when a cop pulls you over. I love it when you ask questions and I just know what to say. Pulls you over and he says, you know why I pulled you over? No, officer, let me see your license registration. What, did I do something wrong? Yes, you don't know what you did wrong? No, you were speeding. Well, officer, you know, I didn't know what the speed limit was. I really didn't know. I didn't see no sign. And the police officer says, oh, yes, yeah, somebody went off the road last week and they knocked the sign down. You're right, there was no sign here. Oh, I'll just give you a warning, run along now. Next week, they put the sign up. You're going on that same road. 
the police officer pulls you up. It could have been you, Captain. Police officer pulls you over. Did I do something wrong? You were speeding. And you can't not tell me this time that you didn't know what the speed limit was. I told you what it was last time I pulled you over, and the sign's back up there. Are you stupid? Ignorant is you didn't know. Stupid is you don't want to know. So Apostle Paul says, I don't want you to be ignorant. I want you to know about the gifts of the Spirit. He was not talking to one individual. He was not talking to just one famous preacher. No, he wasn't just talking to a Billy Graham or a Oral Roberts or a uh, Kenneth Copeland. Or No, he was talking to the Corinthians. I don't want you to be ignorant. And he taught them about the gifts of the Spirit. There is an absolute need for the gifts of the Spirit to operate in our life. What are they? We're going to talk about that. The second Saturday of every month in Orlando. No charge to come. We will receive a free will offering. Yes, I said Saturday to see if Darlene was paying attention. Second Friday of each month. All right. I do this to see if they, they're paying attention, and they are. First Friday of the month, ministry service in Orlando. Second Friday of the month, teaching on impartation, activation, participation, and moving the gifts to the Spirit. Third Friday of the month, a celebration of praise. Bring your dancing shoes, bring your tambourines, bring your banners. We're going to sing the high praises of God. And we're going up to the high place and to tear the enemy's kingdom down. All right, did that make sense? Did I do good? All right, thank you.